Hey everybody, it's Derek and Lizzie, and we're back with the Board Game Spotlight Game Day, not Game Night. Uh, we're actually a little bit out of our schedule. Um, we are going to knock this out this afternoon, mm -hmm. so we are here to hang out. Let me get Lizzie's camera all situated. There she nice. is. Look at you. Yeah. Hmm. Awesome. Oh, ah, come back. Stop messing with me. Stop it. <laughs> Oh, All right, so we are going to play today Neolithic. Neolithic. It's already on the screen. It is right. on the screen. Over here. Here. All right, cool. So we're going to go ahead and take the opportunity to explain how to play Neolithic. Uh, for those of you who have never heard of it uh, or don't know anything about it, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, teach you a little bit about it. It mm -hmm. is a two-player, um, very quick game. I believe it also has solo play. It does have solo. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a hand management uh, resource collection tableau builder. Mm -hmm. So how do we play? So we all have a founder and then you start with a second villager card. So you're going to use these to go out and gain resources. So they have um, icons on them. You can see they have the symbols. And you have to match that up with where you're going. You have to have that symbol to visit each location. So we have... Right. Um, so gather. Gather. Procreate. procreate hunt. Innovate. Innovate, and then... This is forage. So yeah. basically, this location... You go location, there, you pick up the whole deck, and you can search through all of it, and it's going to be a mixture of all the cards out there. Right, so right, right. you can it's pick mixture, whatever you would like. And this is the only location that both players can go to... As many times as, as they want. As many times you want to, and that's important because... Otherwise, whoever goes first, I'm going to be placing my card along the bottom, Derek will place his along the top. Here. Once I visit a location, Derek cannot go there until I take my people back right. and the the area becomes open so it's again. It's super cool. So like these elders and uh, and we each have a founder, mm -hmm. essentially it's a pseudo worker placement game. It is, yeah. Um, and what's cool about it is the fact that when you place a worker on a location, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to gain a card and either it's going to go to your tableau or it's mm -hmm. going to go into your hand. But you'll be able to play when you take back your And then you people. take your workers back, your villagers. As you take back your people, how many you take back, that's how many actions you have where you can lay cards down from your hand or they have double sided. So um, some of them you can just Hard to do an action like yep. take another card. Yep. So each of these areas you can do something. We already talked about the hunt gather where you can look through all of them, pick one. Um, the structures you look at the top two cards of the stack, add one card to your hand and move the other to the bottom. Um, the hunt you reveal the top three cards of the stack, add all identical hunted animals to your village or move one card to your hand. So that's where the double sided come in. On the bottom it's the hunted so you can flip those up and you'll end up with meat or yeah. fur etc. Yep. So they're multi-use cards as well. Yep. So like as if this game didn't have enough going on, they've added Added multi-use cards, so mm -hmm. you have meat at the top, and then domestic. Well, actually, that's the bottom. Yeah, and then you can actually place the card into your tableau for some sort of ability. Yeah, we also had the procreate, so this is going to give you more workers. So you come here, look at the top two, pick one you want, and put the other on the bottom. So it's going to give you more workers that you can put out there, so that you have more actions when you take them back. And then plant, reveal the top three cards of this deck, add two different gathered resources to your village, or move one card to your hand. Yep. So we will show off the cards as we get them, kind of explain what they do. But um, first player is whoever most recently visited a museum. A museum. Uh, probably me. Probably, but I wouldn't we have gone to museums at the same time? I don't know. I'll give it to you. Yeah. I'll give it to you. I probably had more fun at the museum we went to. I love, what? I love museums. What are you talking about? Okay, I... I'm going to gather. And so this elder says when you gather with this card, reveal an additional card. So I'm going to flip over the top four. So you'll notice this is the symbol here that is allowing Lizzie to gather. So you have to match the symbol to that location in okay. order to take the action there. So I can add two different gathered resources. You actually so reveal them. So just okay. put them down. Well, it's hard because there's a kneel at the thing. So I'm going to pick the clay oh, and the stone over here. So those are the gather resources. If I wanted to play the huts, there's a clay It'll and a stone hut. Hand. I'd put one of them into my hand. I would have to wait for another turn to get that. Since right. I'm doing the resources on the bottom, I'm just going to put them over here. And then these are going to go on the bottom. Yep. All and right. My first worker is out. Yes, it is. I am going mm. to procreate. Look at the Maybe top two cards. Top. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm on the top. Go yep. to the top yep. two, and I put one in my hand, and the other on the bottom of the deck. That is awesome. <laughs> I'm going to take, ooh, 
I think I'm going to take that one. And I'll put this on the bottom. Now, the game is going to end when two of these stacks of cards are gone. And on the beginning of a player's turn, when two stacks are empty, that's going to be the last round, uh, and you're going to finish the game. So are oh, you're hunting. Sheep or wolf. You're hunting for a wolf. Now, when you hunt, there's two actions here. Uh, the first is that you can add all of the identical hunted animals into your tableau as hunted meat. Which so like would be if you this had side? yeah this side so like if Lizzie had come across like two goats or two wolves she could put both of those wolves in or her I can choose one of the Correct. domesticated side and it goes to your hand. hand yes I did pick a domesticated animal and I put it in my hand all right and this is a kind of a pseudo it's not really an and it's not an engine builder, but it's resource management because you want to put no because you're not like generating resources. Basically, no, you're in not. your tableau, you want to put symbols that are going to help you build cards up later. So, but you can generate points. Like the first yeah, game, I had a card that gave me points for all the what was that art? It was some kind of like yeah. cow like animal. I'm going to innovate, and then I had two of those cards, so I doubled so the points, and I had like all of them. When I innovate, I look at the top two cards mm -hmm. in the deck, and I put one into my hands. Now, there is a difference. Some of them say reveal, some of them say innovate. So mm -hmm. obviously, if a card says reveal, both players can look at it. Um, ooh, that's a good one. Which one are you going to take? Uh, I'm going to take this one, and this is going to go on the bottom. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to take my two back. Okay, so you And then I am going to now. play two things. So if you can see my cards, I had played stone and clay earlier. So this pottery, I need two clay to have, to lay it down, which I have here. And this stone circle needs two stones to lay down, which I have here. So nice. I can score those points at the end of the game. Nice. All right, I'm so gonna go ahead and hunt while you're there. So Boo. there's a there's a back and forth like timing mechanism in the game because we both I could not do all go, the actions. Right, yeah. you wanna go to all of them, but I couldn't right. go to gather or hunt because Lizzie was there. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of trying to Time wait your... my time so that she's not there anymore. So now I get to hunt, and she can't do that on her turn now. She has to wait till I return. So reveal the top three. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three. Uh, we have with us boar, sheep, and a uh, Aura. Aurok, which I'm not super sure what that it's is. A steer looking animal. It is a steer, yeah. Um, so it's sort of horns. cattle. I'm going to go ahead and take these adorable looking sheep, though. They're so cute. Look at them. All right, so okay. they're going to go into my hand. So I'm going to go to the forage deck thingy. Okay. Now, when you forage, I think you mentioned this earlier, but she can mm -hmm. actually look through the whole deck mm -hmm. and just take a card and put it in her hand. Mm -hmm. um, so that is different because most of these allow you to play things straight to your tableau. Uh, at the forage, it has to go into your hand. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you are getting the choice of what card you want, so it's a pretty good trade-off. There we go. So I got exactly what I wanted. Exactly what you wanted. Um, I have no villagers left, so I'm going to return my villagers to gain three action points. I am going to play... Um, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I'm going to take this. Uh, this is a jewelry card. So this is a ritual. So these cards are in-game victory points, but on the reverse side, it's a ritual, which is basically a discard this card for an effect. Mm -hmm. I'm going to search the hunt deck for a card and put it into my hand. Oh, are you? I am. I'm going to take... Uh, do you know what you second. need? I do know what I need. One second. Apparently not. I do. I want the Auroch. But I want the good Auroch. The good Auroch? Yeah. As opposed to the bad Auroch? When you procreate, when you Aren't procreate. Aren't they all the same? Nope. Are they? Oh, yeah, they are all procreate. Okay. I am going to procreate. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold well, on a second. That was done? my first action. I had three actions. Can you chill out? Well, you took so long. I figured you were done. Second action, I'm going to play this Auroch, domesticated. Uh, in my third action, I'm going to play uh, this breeding. So basically, I got this Auroch so I could play this from my hand. So you'll see that this allows me to play this and chain into those resources. Mm -hmm. So that is my turn. Now I'm going to go. You may now proceed. And look at the top two, and I get to keep one. I will take this person. All right. All right. All right. All right. I am going to hunt. Uh, when you hunt with this elder, I reveal an additional. So I reveal four. One, two, three, four. All right, what do we got here? 
Got some sheep. I'm actually going to take... Ooh, I could take both these goats and add them into my tableau as meat. I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm actually going to use these as meat because they, they match, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hunt both of these together, and both of those cards are going to go into my tableau. Okay. I'm going to go over here, look at top two. Dang it, you went to innovate? I did. Okay. Go ahead. I'm going to gather. Oh, are you? I am. Uh, I don't think this gives me any sort of a extra ability. Nope. So, nope. I get to reveal the top three. One, two, three. And I can add any two that are not the same. So it looks like you can so take barley and the flowers. I can flowers. take barley and the flowers. Or... I can add one card to my hand. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to add the barley and flowers. <laughs> yeah. As icons. I'm going to take my three people back. Perfect. And do three actions. So I will put out a goat herd. That's right. Open up that spot. Which will let spot. me do the goat breeding. Ooh. And then nice. I will domesticate one wolf. This nice. lets me, when I hunt, I can reveal an additional card. Nice. Okay. Yep. Yeah, when I procreate, instead of looking at the top two, I can search for a villager and add it to my hand. So these uh, animals are going to allow you to do some really cool things. Mm -hmm. um, for sure. Uh, I am going to innovate, and I'm going to look at the top uh, two cards, put one into my hand, and we're going to go with this one, and it's your turn. Go to the hunt gather. To the forage. Forage thingy. The foraging. I can't lay something straight down, right? No, forage goes straight to your hand. Okay. Well, I'm out of workers. Okay. Or villagers, so I'm going to pick mine up. That gives me three actions. I am going to play these domesticated sheep. So I'm going to put these down. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to then allow me to play sheep breeding. So the sheep breeding card is then going to go into my tableau. And then I'm going to play this card for its ritual. So I'm going to add the top card of the procreate deck uh, to my hand. So top card goes into my hand. Ooh, I like it. Are you done? I am finished. I'm going to go forage again. <laughs> oh, the Facebook comments. Very funny, Martin. Hey, we have a very cute child. We do. Oh, hey, over on Twitch. Great to see you. We have a viewer over there. Uh, Jami Coop asked, do the resources go away after you used? No. Nope. No, they are in your tableau. So um, I will just go ahead and even show you. This is what I currently have built in my tableau. So, and we'll get, we'll show these on screen when we go to end game scoring, mm -hmm. but this is my tableau and it does not ever leave. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm always going to have, uh, this Auroch, these, these sheep, um, these flowers, the whatever food, barley, barley, barley. and then we've got our hunted meats. Mm -hmm. So those are always going to be there and it's going to allow me to chain cards together, mm -hmm. uh, that we're drawing from the innovation deck or from the gather deck or from the forage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are always going to be available to me. Is it? It is my turn. Okay. Yeah. So I am going to. Oh man. Don't know what you're gonna do. So I gotta do it. I'm gonna hunt. So when I hunt, mm -hmm. I reveal an additional. So one, two, three, and four. Dang it! They're all four different. Oh man. That's okay. I am going to take the double these here. So this is the two of, as I do this hand, yeah. I'm gonna add that there. And he's gonna go at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I will innovate. Innovate? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. I'm gonna going to uh, I'm gonna gather. Mm -hmm. So I get to look at the top three. One, two, and three. OK. 
Okay. And I get to add either two of those that don't match into my tableau or one of the opposite side. One of the opposite into your side. Hand. I'm actually going to take both. Oh man, that stinks though. Cuz I really want those, but I really want those. So what we're trying to do is in order to score 5 points from our founder, uh, which is a variant of the game, have the most symbols. You want to have the most symbols, and which these are, are these? symbols. So I have a really difficult choice here between trying to beat Lizzie for a number of symbols or Just straight adding up straight up points. points to my field. Because yeah. <sighs> those are only worth one, the wooden huts and stuff, but, you know, straight up five points. Yeah, it's 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 a tough decision. It is, I'm going to take my three people back. Here than you would think. So you and get I will, yes. I'm going to do wolf breeding. I'm actually glad I waited then. I'm going to do advanced technology. Uh, over on Facebook, Brad Taylor says he likes okay, games. We'll uh, Brad likes games that uh, with multi multi use cards. Mm -hmm. Seems like there's always at least one part of the card that's fun to get. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Mm -hmm. Multi use cards is one of my all time favorite uses of a card. Um, the more ways that I can use a card, the better. And in fact, there's another game that we played recently um, that does it as well, called The City. It's on Kickstarter mm -hmm. as well. Um, but yeah, multi use cards are just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I really, really like them. All right, so it's my turn. It is. Good, you opened up the innovation spot for me. Look at the top two cards and add one to my hand. Boop, 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 doo, 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 doo. All right. Go ahead. Here. Dang, now I wish I would have taken that, uh, <laughs> that house. <laughs> hmm, do I procreate? No, I don't need to. I'm also going to forage. Oh, are you? I am going to forage. I want to see what's in here. You've been taking all the cards out of here. I'm like, come on, man. Well, I mean, I've been watching me do it. It's not like I've been. Oh, yeah, sneaking. yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I know. You gotta pay attention. Um, that seems pretty good. So I'm gonna take that. All right, you're up. I'm gonna go here. And procreate. procreate. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and oh, return yeah. my return my four workers. So these are gonna give me four actions, mm -hmm. and I am going to first play roasted meat. Uh, so this roasted meat is going to come off of my uh, cards that I have here. So I get to play this for victory points, and then I'm going to play this wheat field. Okay. And then I'm going to play this advanced resource here because I have, I just played the card that gives me that uh, symbol right there. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that down. You done? Yep, I'm finished. Gonna go two, three. I'm gonna take this okay. stone hut, I believe. All right, I'm gonna innovate. Oh, what I gather here, huh? I reveal an additional card. No, I'm, I'm good with what I got. Okay, I'm gonna innovate. Okay. So I look at the, t I look at the top two. There's only two left. Oh, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and take that and put that back. Go um, ahead. I'm gonna take three back. All right. And then I will go one, mm -hmm. two, three. Okay, I'm going to gather. Okay. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah. So I get to look at the top three cards. One, two, three. And I get to put any two that don't have matching symbols. So I'm going to go with these right here. Like that. And this goes at the bottom. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait one minute. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Go ahead. Doesn't change what I was gonna do. I'm gonna hunt one, two, three sheep, a rock, and boar. Three things that I don't actually need. <laughs> oh wait, wait. When I hunt, reveal one additional card. Yep. Come on, yes, goats. Oh, you need Taking the goats? the goats. No, give me the goats back. No. I am going to forage. 
All right, what do we have here? I'm gonna take. Hmm. I'll take this. Go ahead. I'm not gonna get a new person. Okay. I'm going to hang return. On, on. Well, I'm gonna it. return my villagers. Well, yeah, but you gotta wait. I don't wanna wait. You gotta. Come back home. You gotta. All right, three actions. First action, I'm going to play this as a. Uh, so you can also play your workers. And this is another way. It's really cool that you can call your hand of cards in, in lots of different ways. So this is going to allow me to play this uh, villager into my village. So it's then going to give me the printed victory point uh, opportunity at the end of the game. So there's that. All right. And let's see, hold on, I have one more action. I have two more actions actually. I'm then going to play written history because now I have these uh, villagers in my village and I have stone so I can play that card. And let's see here. I'm going to then I hold out? I'm gonna hold out. I'm gonna stop right there. Hmm. We'll go here. Where is here? Hey, 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 what up, Ian? Over on Facebook, Ian Birdsall is uh, with Colossal, so thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. All right, I'm going to gather. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Here we go. I was like, where are my people at? Where are my villagers? I am going to gather with this card and I get to reveal the top three. So mm -hmm. one, two, and three. And I'm actually going to take this into my hand. These are gonna go to the bottom. And it's your turn. I'm gonna take these back. Okay. I'll put one, two, Three. Perfect. All right, I am going to try and remember what was in the innovate that I didn't take. Oh, I remember now. Don't really think I need it, so I'm actually going to. I'm gonna hunt. So when I hunt with this elder, I get to reveal an additional. So I'm gonna reveal four. So one, two three and four yes both these Arak are going to go hunted into my tableau because they are identical they match and it's lizzie's turn i'm gonna go over here and innovate <laughs> you can take the last left. card left so that's one we're halfway like well actually we could be actually, quicker because there's only one card here left what actually what you took it you have to take it you went there yeah but i can't play it down unfortunately um, so when another deck runs out at the beginning of that next player's turn, mm -hmm. game's going to be over. All right. So I am going to return both of my villagers to my hand. I get two actions. I'm going to play this clay hut down for, um, a resource. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to play advanced village because I now have that hut that I needed to score for it. So you're up. I'm gonna go hunt. One, two, three. I would get you're to reveal all four. Yeah, you get to look at all of them. So there's wolf, sheep, and there's, boar. Yeah, there's a, there, I knew there was a boar left in there. Well, hang on. So we have a couple procreate. We have one forage deck left. I'm gonna take this. Okay. I am going to uh, procreate. Look at the top two, put one into my hand. Okay, go ahead. I will go forage the last card. All right. I will... So this is your yep, last, last No. Yes. After they're gone, you do one more round, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll get I'll... one and you get one. Okay, yeah, yeah. You into the last round. You yes. go into, right. Yes. Um. Well, let's see here. Um, let's see here. I will return my worker, obviously, to play a 
work her down. I think that's going to give me the most points. That gives me four. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to take my three back, which will allow me to do a domestic animals, boar, and wolf. Oh, uh, which lets you play breeding. your other card down. Yep. And then I can do oral history because I have two of those symbols. Mm-hmm. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. All right, so, so that is the end of the game. We are now going to tally our points. We're going to show on screen. Okay, so, so we have to put the founders out. So we so, both have the same card. It's founders, and yes. it says add this card to your village at the end of the game. If you have more icons than the other player, gain five points. All right. So, so you want to go first? You should be able to bring yours up you want, okay. on screen. You should be fine. Um, here, I'll add these there. It's one thing, the icons are pretty nice and big. I do appreciate that. You should can be able to see all mostly these. mostly see that. Yeah, you can mostly see what's going on here. Those are discarded. Okay, so I have 1, 2, 3, here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 35 symbols. Icons. All right, 35 icons. I have to beat 35 to, to get, get five, five points. points from my founder. All right, so here we go. One, two. No. No, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, two, three, two, three, two, four, two, five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Uh, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. The clay hat doesn't count. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. That is an icon. Well, then I didn't count that. Okay, so you have 35. 36. 36, then I have 37. Are you sure? Yeah, the clay hat counts. It's in the rule book. I read it. The advanced resource icons, too. The okay. advanced resource? Yeah, that, that's, that's a resource. Because, hold on. Maybe that doesn't count. Because I was thinking, yeah, that. Because I mean, that's what I have to have to play this. Yeah, and it's just saying that for those are points. So I think that would mean we tied. Yeah, we did tie. And even if it's tied, nobody gets the founding points. Okay. Oh, I wanted those founder points. Dang it. Okay. Two, four, six, Curses. eight, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty. I'll let you two. add your points up, and then we'll we'll add my points up. Because you're gonna mess my 22. math up, and I'll mess yours up. Eight. Oh my gosh, 59, you're going to kill 50, me. 51, Are you serious? 52. She just keeps going and going and going. 53. So many points. 53? 53. 53. All right, here we go. 2, 4, 6, 8, 12. Mm -hmm. um, one point for each of these. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Mm hmm. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, mm -hmm. 27, mm -hmm. um, 27, 28. Is that all I got? Is that all you got? I don't know. Did I miss anything? Um, I don't think so. I, think I, missed it. I Yeah. I don't Dang. think you did. You got so many of those in-game victory points. That's what I went after. I mean, I went after quite a few, too. You did. I really needed those five points. I mean, not, it wouldn't have mattered what you scored, like, 50-something, and I scored. Yeah. Yeah. You actually wrecked, you wrecked me. I'm trying to see what we have here. One point for each of these barley. So, one. Yeah, I didn't get very many points off well, of barley. Well, I got breeding two points for each wolf and boar. I also had one point for each of my yes. stone, and I had so a that ton is true of too. stone. So I ended up without being able to play both of these cards from my hand, um, mm -hmm. which this would have given me an extra point for my meat. Yeah. So that's another so four he, points. So if he played that, that would have like definitely evened it up. And then if I would have mm -hmm. played this, that's another four points. Yeah. So that's it's really points. important to play these, like what we called your workers down. But you lose them from your hand, so you have less actions to go get cards. Just but long game, they're going to be giving you yeah. endpoints. So it's that, like, do yeah. I want to get rid of a worker now and start adding right, up endgame right, right. points? Or do well, I want to use the workers the, to get more cards? But then you can only put uh, down so many cards. So there's that, like, oh, I want to play down five cards. I only have three workers, but I want to well, play down one worker. Which there's really so two. many layers yes. to using this card. Mm -hmm. It's going to blow your mind. I'm not even joking. Mm -hmm. There are so many... Um, second and third order 
uh, effects of this mm -hmm. card. If you play this card down, mm -hmm. you're losing a worker from your hand. Mm -hmm. You are gaining, and that means hold on, you're gaining an in-game victory point mm -hmm. uh, scoring opportunity, but you're also losing the certain locations the locations that you can't go to if you don't mm -hmm. have a worker there so you absolutely have to play these cards down into your tableau mm -hmm. but you can't do it too early or you're not going to be able to have cards now or you need to go get a new one to replace the one so you're essentially taking an entire turn just to replace the worker that you have in your hand all that you're of these lay down. cards are able to procreate mm -hmm. so you can procreate with all of them so you're able to get more workers but it's these secondary skill icons. Mm -hmm. The hunting, uh, the, the gathering, hunting the innovation. Really change, changes a lot. I mean, um, yeah, so it's a really difficult. And then if there's someone at the gather when you want to go gather and you're like, man, that's what I really wanted to do. And I don't have a person to hunt, and the, even though the hunting's open. So yeah. you really have to manage what you have in your hand versus what's out there and what's open yep. and how you want to score in the game points. So this is a very is deep a game, super for game for just two being cards. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And for it taking like 20, 30 minutes tops, mm -hmm. it, there's a lot of game here. Mm -hmm. And this is now the third time we've played, and I'm actually liking this m the more I play. Yes. Like, every game has gotten better because you get to see all these little intricacies. You get to see mm -hmm. all these different card combinations. Yes. Um, you get to... You'll never really see the same cards come up in the same pulls. Mm -hmm. Like, you can... Mm -hmm. There's even cards we didn't add into the deck. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's this whole stack of cards over here. Yeah, that there we did are, not use. there's even some other variants where you can yep. include, let me see these. Yeah, there's um, the solo variant, you put cards out, like goals, and if you have all three, or you have to have at least two when you end the game, otherwise you don't win. Yeah, I, did, I haven't played the solo. I mean, I we were know. just looking at it, but... I read the rule book about the solo. Yeah. Uh, there are these um, festival cards that are going to give you additional victory points, and then there are these other cards, where are they at? they're like dowry and some craziness like that. Yeah, so you've got like festival, dowry, trade cards. Mm -hmm. um, these are some additional variants you can play, like kind of mini expansion mm -hmm. type stuff um, that you can add to the game. But overall, this game is mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm on it, honestly liking it the more and more I play it. Yeah, and I've not like normally I find a game and then I just kind of get the same strategy each time. This one, I mean, it just depends on when you get in your hands. So you can't bank on the same strategy. So one time I went like heavy. Heavy like the building the huts of stone yep. and yeah, clay the, and the, brick, the and then one, or you can go one time I went heavy animals where I just I got a bunch of different cards that got me points for the animals, so I was just like all animals this time. I went yep. mostly innovation. Yep. So I mean, there's you so many want different to take paths one to path victory and try to get as many yeah. points. But you're I, not going to do the same path every time you play the game. Right. It Don't do on what, what I you did. did in your hand. <laughs> do not try to do everything because it's not going to work mm -hmm. for you. Uh, you need to pick a path. And you need to go for it. Mm -hmm. um, now you can um, you can supplement mm -hmm. that path with other ways to score points, mm -hmm. but definitely pick a path and, and dive and just in. Just go down it. Yeah, because if you try to do like a little bit here and there, get some points over here, then over here, you're, you're gonna end gonna up gonna not maximizing uh, any sort of points, which mm -hmm. is what I did. Uh, as you saw, Lizzie was able to to pull away. So when I noticed, I should have watched what she was doing, uh, and I should have gone down a heavy animal or hut path. Yeah, but I mean, if Derek had gotten that, just that one villager... Well, both of these cards would have helped. Well, just that one villager would have added another 10 points. What? No. For, oh, I thought it was... No, it's just for these. Oh, I just thought it was for points. meat. No, no, no. If you no. gotten one for the meat, one. you would have added... The meat would have added one, one, two, three, three four, four, five, six. six. But I think... Yeah, I don't know if it was in there or not. I don't know if I got to it. No. Oh, we didn't get through the po the Procreate. We did yet. not get through the Procreate, there, so. yeah. Anyways, uh, oh, hey! Over on Facebook, John uh, joined the live stream. That's super cool. John is the designer of the game. John, thanks for making a great game. Yeah, we really enjoyed I it. I have to go track down uh, Merchants of Missouri and yeah. keep now because I, I love card-based games. Or you could just get them on Kickstarter. That's true. It is live on Kickstarter. So if this looks like something that mm -hmm. is interesting to you, if you like two-player games, card games. Mm -hmm. um, multi-use cards. Yeah, multi-use cards. I mean, this live stream was for you to be able to make an informed decision on whether or not you think the game is going to fit mm -hmm. your particular group. Mm -hmm. So if you uh, like this type of thing, mm -hmm. go check out the Kickstarter. Yes, um, so it is a bundle of three different John Cloudus games. You can get all three of them and one, or you could pick and choose which game you would like to add to your collection. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but otherwise, this is, this is the game. This is Neolithic. Yep. yep. From yep. Coming from Colossal, Colossal. Now. Uh, designed by John Cloudus. So mm -hmm. uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and we hope.